What's going on guys, Brandon here with another video. Uh, today, we're gonna be taking this ugly stock front end off and replacing it with the HD conversion, the HD grill and the HD bumper cap. Uh, I actually just painted all this yesterday and put a clear coat on it, so it came out really nicely. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the HD conversion on a 9902 Silverado. <laughs> All right, so the first step we're gonna do is uh, take all these tabs off right here. And you do that just with a screwdriver and just put it on there and uh, just pry it up. And they'll come right out. Uh, be careful not to break them because I'm gonna reuse mine. Uh, if you wanna break yours, go ahead and order more. <laughs> After we've gotten all these out, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, pull this top cap off and uh, we'll put it to the side for later because we're gonna put that back on. Next, we can go ahead and uh, take out the headlights, just like this. Pretty sure most of y'all know how to take out headlights. All right, so I don't hook my HIDs I have in here. Mine are kind of a pain in the ass to get out. Uh, here we go, uh, hook these. And uh, I'm gonna put these to the side for later too. Make sure not to get them mixed up. <clears throat> all right, next we will be taking the grill off. They have one 10 millimeter bolt right here. And I believe all these other ones are just latches or snaps that just come undone so be careful so you don't break them so first of all i'm just going to undo this 110 millimeter right here and i'm going to set that to the side for later because like i said i'm going to end up reusing all my bolts all right next you're going to want to get some type of needle nose um i actually don't have any right now so i'm using some welding pliers which will work too and you just basically get behind here pinch these and uh this grill should pop out it's not doing it, but uh, it should. Last clip there, and uh, go ahead and put this over. All right, so next we gotta take the bumper off. They have a bolt here and a bolt here we have to get undone, so let's go ahead and get these off. All right, so we just got that bumper pulled off, and uh, as you can see, pretty ugly right now so next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go ahead and install the new grill put the grill on make sure everything fits right and fabricate anything that doesn't fit so we're gonna go ahead and slap the new grill on right now all right so we got the grill in got it all bolted down it fits really good so now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cut our brackets off and lower them an inch and a half I think if my measurements are right it should come out good. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna, like I said, cut an inch and a half off both of these and re-weld them on. All right, so I have my measurements marked. Uh, the tape is an inch and a half and inch and a half on this side. So we gotta cut an inch and a half off of these brackets right here. And I have my bar attached to the top to keep everything from moving and shift them positions and so I can keep it level. So we're gonna go ahead and get my cutting wheel right here and we're gonna cut this off and then uh, we're gonna fit the bumper back on and hopefully that's all we have to do.
All right, so we got the mounts cut off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, put a flap wheel in here and get all this cleaned up and beveled and ready to weld back on. So we have these tack welded on, but we kind of ran into a problem. Uh, the bumper brackets are hitting right here. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to uh, notch this out or something. As you can see, that's about as good as we're gonna get. And we're basically lined up on that hole and that hole. And what we had to do is, like I said, we notched the uh, radiator support and got it notched in and got it back as far as we're gonna be able to get it. So that's gonna have to work. So we're gonna have to do the same thing to the other side. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the bumper cap on and put the bumper back on. All right, so we have both mounts on, welded up, repainted, bumper cap on, bumpers mounted, bumpers good. So all we got left to do is now to finish reinstalling the grill and then put the headlights on and the top cap and this swap will be completed. The swap is now complete and it came out amazing. It really wasn't that difficult to do with my fabrication skills that I have. It was, some parts were iffy. Uh, I didn't really like cutting my frame, but I did it and it worked. Uh, this swap took me about three hours to do just because I've never done it before. But now since I know how to do it, it'll go by in a breeze. So if you guys have any questions on how to do it, be sure to uh, drop a comment below and I'll get back with y'all and uh, help y'all through all the steps it takes to make this conversion worked.